Oh, and can you explain the Lash Blast deck? Well, you see, Lash Blast <laughs> is when you play only Forests, right? That, that's your mana base. But you play all blue Phyrexian mana cards. So you constantly, to do anything, have to pay two life. <laughs> and most likely you're going to kill yourself. But, <laughs> man, like having those mental missteps to counter their Llanowar Elves... Priceless. <laughs> That's last. All right, guys. How's it going? Counterpoint MTG here, down in the dungeon. This is a standard Sunday. Standard Sunday, and uh, so today we're going to be looking at a stand. Uh, Col we're going to be looking at standards c current Colby, Colby setup. So uh, yeah, this is a, both of our competitive standard decks that we play at standard competitive events. <laughs> um, you don't say. This is, these are not fun decks. They're made to hey Max, uh, they're they're uh, made to win. They're competitive. Um, so I'm I've decided for my list this standard season I'm gonna well at least for uh, Theros up to Theros, I'm running mono black devotion. Uh, what do you think about this uh, shell, Owen? I I think that mono black is. The best thing in my mind about Mono Black is how many answers it has. It can deal with a lot of problems really quickly. Yeah, and so basically, the let's talk about the idea for this deck. The idea for this deck is to gain devotion to get off things like Erebos. Um, you want Erebos to go off, you want Mogus Marauders to go off, and most of all, which we usually win with, is Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Um, so yeah, this is a decently popular standard deck. This is a variation I found on the internet. I'm, it's not exactly net decked. I kind of tweak some things. Like, this should be Thoughtseize, but I don't have Thoughtseize. ATM. Um, we'll be, I, I'll hopefully get Thoughtseize when it goes down a bit. But, uh, yeah, the two main cards in the deck are definitely Grey Merchant and Mogus Marauders. So, uh, anything you, else you'd like to say before we get into this one? Uh, no, let's just get right into it. Okay, so... Let's start from the creature base. So, no one drops in the creature base, but we do have Pack Rat as the two drops. So, I'm running two of these. I used to run three, but I took one out because I was getting mana screwed, so I just put an extra swamp. Um, but yeah, so this is a 1-1 one, one for two. Uh, its Toughness is equal to the amount of rats you control. Yeah. And you can pay three to discard a card, and you get another rat, so it'd be 2-2. Two, two. And that can be, get pretty crazy because they're all copies of it. Mm -hmm. And so it could be like, each of them be 2-2, two, two, each of them be 3-3. Three, three. So I run two of those, they're pretty good. Thoughts on those on there? The, yeah, th Pack, Rat, Pack Rat is a great card in this one because, like, copying it also creates another, <coughs> excuse me guys, uh, point of devotion. Just get snot on my card. <laughs> no. No, that's a, that, that's not snot, that is a hair. Oh, weird. Anyway, okay. that's that's how powerful my sneezes are. Anyways, um, it's it's always good to have. Except you might notice, just skipping quickly ahead to the let mana base, the there's no there's no muta vaults, which might seem kind of weird if you're running pack rats. But pack rat isn't isn't one of the main win cons yeah. of this deck. It's more like, if it's like, game yeah, we need something to do, we can just start pitching land. If if we get to six land, mm -hmm. I'll start pitching land. I don't care. Yeah. Especially if we have a Nykthos. Yeah. So that's, that's pack rat. So, uh, next we have Life Main Zombie. I'm running two of them. As you can see, there's two there. Uh, so he's a three mana, three one, with Intimidate and Wears the Battlefield. Zombies, er, uh, no, <laughs> Zombies Control. Uh, you, you, Target player reveals his or her hand, and you may choose a green or a white creature card from it. Which um, you will see is really yeah, annoying so against my deck. In the standard testing the team was doing, not so much Gage, because Gage doesn't play a lot of standard. He tries and then he fails. But in our t our testing between each other, it's crazy. I can get so much yeah. stuff out of his hand. So yeah, and he has Intimidate too, so yeah, that's... mono blue deck, 3-1. Yeah. Solid body. And two devotion. And also with this, each copy has a devotion. Yeah. So you have two devotion here. Uh, any, what do you think of that card? Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, like... It's just... It's just, like, good, efficient... 
And a, is it just a, not one of the deck's good efficient attackers? Yeah, yeah. With Intimidate. The next one is Night Veil Spectre. Great for the Devotion. 2-3 Flying Body, and I get to play their cards. Yeah, so that... Run four of those. Play set, full play... An automatic full play set. Um, I feel Spectre's be... convenient against another mono black text. Yeah. Uh, what, what I was... Today, um, I was playing playing uh, Leaf or whatever his name is. Oh, yeah. And it was this wasn't a standard game. This is a modern game. I just brought this deck out and I attacked and I... Or was it... But at our store, we don't really have a ban list. And I got Lightning Greaves. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's pretty sick. And I equipped Lightning Greaves on Erebos. That's pretty that's sick. Sweet. Um, but yeah, so thoughts on Nebula Spectre. I, I think the three toughness for the benefit. Yeah, so. yeah. It, if it was a 2 2, would definitely not be as good. Because it can survive, like, shot. Like, yeah, it's just. Fleece Man Lounge. Yeah. Well, no, it couldn't attack as far as those. Yeah, but it's just, it's just good. Yeah. Uh, so next one of the crazy cards in the deck Mogus's Marauders. Or Mogus Marauders. Mogus's. Mogus's Marauders. It's a 2 2 for three. Rise Battlefield. Up to X creatures to intimidate and haste. So like, he's really good for swinging for game, and yeah. X is equal to your devotion. So so, yeah, that's that's the that's the first like main win con like yeah like if I can get him out and then I got like this guy and this guy yeah. out, like like pfft. like all these all these cards can do a lot of damage on their own, but like Mogus Marauders is the first one that, that like, helps other gives you like a really clear shot at it. Uh, so next is one of the, like, staples in almost yeah. all mono black. I run a full play set of Desecration Demon. So he's a format of 6-6 six, six, flying at the beginning of each combat. Any opponent may sacrifice a creature. You, you attack him, he gets a plus one counter. This either forces them to remove creatures from the game, or get hit for 6, or yeah. 7, or whatever. How many counters he has on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's... He... He's, like... Oh, he's so good. He he's, like he like works as removal. He works as a removal if they don't just like want to take a ton of damage, and he's like when they finally run out, you can just swing in for a ton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that card's great. Basically, my I would say like it can win games. It can also draw me cards. Uh, is Erebos. Oh yeah, great blocker. Works well against the control decks, everything like that. Yeah. Also a big, also a big body with Mogus Marauders. If you can, yeah. get it going. Card draw. He does basically everything. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really like him when he first came out, but I'm he's starting to get on my good side. And if you don't know, by the way, black is my most favorite color. Your most favorite. But I was gonna say most played. Then I switched to favorite. Yeah. It's it's just it's such a good color. But uh, but yeah, like he's just he can get crazy, and it, he's indestructible. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Next is uh my main win condition of the deck. How is how did this guy get passed as a common? So I originally was only running three, which is odd. But then I moved up to the full play set and took a I think was, was it a pack rider or a lifebane zombie? I can't. You were running three lifebane zombies, and now you're only running. And three. I think this is a definitely a good yeah. decision. So let's find them out here. So basically, for five, I can drain you for like eleven or whatever. Yeah, I mean. it's. Ugh. And I gain 11. Like, Owen has got me down to, like, 1 before, and I went up to, like, 13. Yeah. And, like, swung for game. Like, it's crazy. Him with whip is ridiculous. That's why I killed you today. Yeah. Multiplayer. Uh, yeah, but he's a 2-4, so he's a good blocking body. Yeah. And I kind of want him to die so I can whip him back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's basically our creature base. We don't... We, we're, we're running more of an aggressive curve on this deck. We're... We're trying to base everything off... Either winning really fast or staying back and grinding. Bu yeah, building up an army. Uh, so now on to our Christ and Sorcerers. I don't know a place of dress, which should be Thoughtseize, but... Yeah, you know. You know. Uh, so it's a sorcery. It's basically a Thoughtseize, except you can only grab non-creature things. Non-creature, non-land. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not... not I, like basically yeah. like Thoughtseize, except you can't. Th Thoughtseize, no, but no creatures. So, uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's it's still good. I was like, gonna put distress in there, but I'm like, no, no, two. But yeah, like I can grab your advent. That'd be you. I could grab your their uh, f that removal spell for one and mono blue. It was reprinted in four. Yeah, that's actually looking for. Um. So yeah, what do you think of the card? It's. I think it's 
I think it's better than any turn one play that you, like turn one creature that you could have. Like running something horribly scary from there. Yeah, exactly. Like that, it, and it's the same with thought seize. Like that's the thing that this deck wants to be doing. Like it doesn't want you to get there, qu like quickly. It wants you to kind of constantly be on the back foot and duress and thought seize both give you great options to do that. Yeah. Uh, so next we're hitting our answers. I run seven based removal spells just to get rid of creatures. Yeah. So we're in the place of Doomblade, as any black deck would. This red target non black creature. Efficient removal. Automatic board out against other mono black decks. <laughs> yeah. Um, Underworld Connections running two of these. Uh, I like it because I need to draw. Basically, if I'm, I'll play this. And basically, late game against like. Like monsters and stuff, I need this. Yeah, I, I so, think I think like other than, other than a big Greg or a big Mo Mogus Marauder, I think Underworld Connections is the best card that you can have late game. Yeah, because like with all the life that you've gained, like from either from Whip or from Grey Merchant, like you can afford to pay a life and draw a card, and that just gets you closer to. Uh, Gregging or like playing Mogus Marauders and getting okay. closer to the win, or getting him and yeah, or getting him. Thing. Yeah, exactly. So there's yeah, basically what we want to draw this. This we want to draw basically anything except yeah. Pack Rat late game. Though, yeah, Pack Pack Rat late game is he's he's still okay. Because... If you have lots of mana open, you just do that. Yeah, and exactly. Catch orange and land. Uh, next is probably something I want to place it of, but three can only fit in the deck right now. Uh, Hero's downfall. So start target creature or planeswalker. Planeswalker is efficient. It's yeah. like a really good murder. Yeah. Um, it's removal. Yeah. Really. And at inst at instant speed, like, yeah. It's just removal. But it's good. Oh, yeah, it's great. We're in three of those. Uh, then we're in two Whip of Erebos. So, creatures we have lifelinks so we can get back from crazy things that happen. Yeah, like, it's, it's a good option to gain life other than Greg. Yeah, um, and then I can whip back like, like today I went back Desecration Demon gain six life. Yeah, you went back Life Bane's on me get an extra effect. Yeah. Or uh, one thing like whipping oh, back Mogus Marauder is ridiculous. Or probably the best if you have a good estate is whipping back Greg, because you drain for a bunch and then you can just swing. Yeah, like if you even need to like. Sometimes when you whip back Greg, you don't even need to. I, I see what you're saying. like, But the lifelink thing is just... So yeah, the lifelink is also great. Uh, I think it's one of the best artifact equipment or whatever. Oh, what yeah. I, I think I think it it's... the most play out of all of them, I think. Yeah. In main board. Yeah. Uh, Go sees play in sideboards. In yeah, monsters. like... I don't know. Does does Biden see play? In mono blue decks? I would. I, yes, it does. It was, yeah. was it in the finals. Yeah, but I think I think I think Whip is the better than the Biden, but yeah, yeah. So now onto our land base. We have Nixos trying to Nix around one of these legendary land. Man, it's pretty sick. Tap it to add a colorless, or tap it tap two and tap it to add to your mana and the how much devotion you have. So I usually can float twenty. Oh, it um well, the one game, uh, Colby had me. For so, he just removed a bunch of my things and then I got pre mana screwed. But he just kept playing cards and he was able to Nykthos. And weren't you holding on to like three Gregs and you played three yeah. Gregs in a turn? That's pretty sick. Yeah, so I was so over dead. So then we run 23 lines. It's an awkward number. At 22, I was getting mass screwed a lot. So I'm like, let's throw in another one. Throw in another one. Work. But so I, I really like these Besiege lands. 22 swamps? Yeah. 23 swamps. Or yeah, 22 swamps when Nick those. Nice. I like these Besiege lands. Oh yeah. Famine has Besiege lands. Looks so sick. Full of Theros. It's my fault. You know, keeping it fresh. But yeah, so that's my deck. That's why I run the standard. It seems to do pretty good. Mm -hmm. It th The only thing it loses to is the mirror. Oh yeah. It's horrible mirror matchups. Yeah, you, like, um, these decks still haven't had really, um, sideboards thought out, so we don't know. We exactly. have an idea. But... Yeah, yeah, like a general idea, but haven't really put pen to paper, or card to sleeve, as it were. Yeah, and I'm running for some pretty bad, uh, some Boba Fett. Oh yeah, Boba, Boba Fett. And those bad boys. I am actually looking, I'm probably going to get some KMCs or something, but 
cool. these these were fun for now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the deck. I call it Whip It Real Good because you went. It's funny. We're not gonna say the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> but right. yeah, so that's the deck, and uh, we're gonna go check out Owen's deck, and uh, it's it's kind of like mine, more aggro based. But yeah, it's not a popular one, so you should be excited to see that. Thanks, guys.